this video, it puts Want to Be Ninja to shame. It like it, no. want to be ninja is is downright egalitarian. I just couldn't believe it. It's the most shocked I've with? been since Black White. No, it can't be that bad. Uh, so the captions, by the way, won't help. <laughs> they don't. They, the, the captions are resisting. They don't want to be as racist as the song is, and they're just like, I, <gasps> uh, I maybe he's singing about a girl. I don't know. I never gonna stop loving you. <laughs> this is fucked up. This is the uh, chill part. <laughs> what is this from? There's a Metro article from 2013 talking about how they were saying they were completely self-aware. And they were like, um, well, no, you see, it's a parody and it's about how people can be overly obsessive and, and, and uh, overly mystical thinking with people like this. They can apply a fetishism. And then the end of the quote no is, first of all, you can't think of this many stereotypes unless they're buried in your brain already. Yep. It'd be like if a white guy wrote say. that out. You'd be like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> then at the end of it, they're like, unironically, it's like, well, you know, first of all, that, that line that you're pointing to was, uh, we're a diverse group. Vocals are done by one of our guitarists who uh, was actually born in Indonesia. So, you know, mm -hmm. that's good. And then I believe the last line is something along the lines, uh, something along the line of, um, we would never say those kind of things about the mo some of the most beautiful women on earth. Oh, like sick. It's a song about how it's wrong yeah. to fetishize because Asian women are some of the most beautiful women on earth. Don't fetishize these women I'm fetishizing right these, now. These, these, these beautiful creatures. <laughs> yeah, someone judges it. Oh, so it's a fetish. Cool. Yeah. Oh, nice. Epic. Yeah, also, I guess. it's not even like Korean girl or Japanese girl, it's Asian girl. So they're referencing yeah. like feng shui Indian. at one point, chow mein at another. At one point they just shout something Nails. like, Beijing! <laughs> <laughs> New Year's in February. February. It's fine with me, I guess. I guess! <laughs> like, like it's doing something wrong. February. Yeah. It's fine oh, yeah. with me. They, right? they go niche here too. They reference shark fishing. Okay. But they're just going to start yelling nouns in a minute. That really is the, the approach. The, the first things they said was literally like, I love your sticky rice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And um, your creamy yellow thighs. Creamy yellow thighs might be, might be the worst part. That was the one. That was truly a like, uh, there's also, there is a genius page with a breakdown of some of the lyrics. That's great. Not great Good. to look at, because you realize what you missed, <laughs> lines wise. <laughs> <laughs> tradition, 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 yeah, yeah. Tradition, tradition, tradition. <laughs> what? Oh yeah. Okay. We'll send you back. Yep. No, no, no. Anti immigration. Highlighting the fact that she is illegally here by virtue of being Asian. Right. <laughs> I of guess. Course. Being uh, an undocumented common. immigrant is that can happen with literally anybody not from America. <laughs> That's the point. That's what yeah. it is. Yeah. You could be if you want, really <laughs> I wanted could to. be. But don't yeah. tell anybody. That is the, maybe one of the strangest parts because that's like, w are you saying that Asian people generally are here? Yeah, illegally more. Is that, what, what, is, what is your point? And then they threaten to snitch on her unless they marry them. <laughs> yeah, it's an ultimatum. Oh, yeah, that's true. What do I know? I'm from a different place. I don't know the culture. Yeah, this is this is American tradition right now. Tradition, tradition, tradition. Tradition, tradition. <laughs> welcome one, welcome all to Jordan's House of Class. I'll admit it, gamers, I love a glass of red, but it's overwhelming. Wine culture is overwhelming and can feel too intimidating. But thanks to today's sponsor and my new personal best friend, Bright Cellars, it doesn't have to be. Bright Cellars is a wine delivery subscription service that allows you to take a quiz early on and figure out exactly what it is that you like without actually having to know wine terms or references. In a matter of minutes, I just filled out this little quiz. Do you like X? Do you not like Y? 
What are your favorite flavors? The quiz itself is only seven questions to help figure out your taste palette. Once you do, you can choose from 12 different plan options and get 100 plus varietals sourced from over 80 wine regions delivered right to your doorstep. Each box comes with wine education cards for each bottle, plus the labels are very tasteful looking. Here's a photo of all of the sexy, cool artwork on the wines. And then here's a photo of one of them that I can't show you right now because I may, I did, I may have, hey, may I, maybe, maybe I drank the wine. Thanks to Bright Sellers, my squad, my Wolfpack, Awu, all of y'all get a special bonus offer, limited time offer for $100 off your first order. If you just head to the link in the description, click through to go and take the quiz. Once you take the quiz, it'll recommend the wines for you. You can get that $100 discount and you'll be flying off to Classy Town with your uh, top hat and monocle in tow. I'll see you there. So if you want to be like me and join me in Fancy Pants Town and find out why over 600,000 five-star reviews have been thrown to Bright Sellers in their service, then head on over to the link in the description and the pinned comment to go and take the seven question quiz and figure out your taste palette and get $100 off. That's too much money. You don't deserve that, but you're getting it anyway. Thanks to Bright Sellers and thanks to Bright Sellers for sponsoring this video of Jordan Adika. <laughs> 17 or 23, baby, it doesn't matter to me. God, we haven't reached the fucking bridge. Sorry, 17 or 23? It doesn't matter to me. I doesn't matter think it me, should buddy. matter. I It should matter. It should matter. Doesn't it matter. It really should. Doesn't matter what my uh, bride that I coerced, what age they are between 17 and 23. Hey, 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 don't worry, though. The bassist is apparently Indonesian, so it's not racist. Okay. Yeah. And cool. he sang one of the lines. Just one. He didn't say yellow, creamy yellow thighs, so I don't think that's an out. Drown them. <laughs> Drown them in their little cage. <laughs> yeah. Shake so it. they can't escape. Yeah. Shake it. She just, she bags it. She puts it in like a, <laughs> <laughs> she puts it in a cloth bag and just flushes it. <laughs> it's okay. It's, it's Indonesian. I love, I just love just no, no reaction. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the thing. No! Yeah. I hate that. Also, like, editing 101, you don't need a shadow behind his head if he's on her skin. That doesn't yeah. make any sense. He looks like he's floating <laughs> above. An unnecessary amount of extra work. I know. In case you didn't think this was real. Uh, yep. Is the implication that he swam into her coochie? It's like the beginning of the fucking season three of The Boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was psyched about it though. Yeah, I guess so. I, I don't know what happened to the basis she was holding. He He's was just gone. dragged into the water. <laughs> <laughs> he was strapped. K Town. <laughs> Places. Don't forget Chinatown. Yeah, that's okay, we forget it. That is my favorite part. Happy ending all over. Bruce Lee! Toyota! <laughs> yeah, Toyota! Bruce wow! Lee. Putting the bassist in her coochie is gonna be so bad for her pH balance. She, wanted, she wants to get tested for a yeast infection. You don't know where he's been. Except a bird cage. I don't know if that's sanitary or covered in shit. It's a bad, bad, <laughs> bad vibe. Yeah. According to Genius, that may be a reference to a Christmas story. I think it is, actually. Yeah. Oh, well, I suppose it's just a reference to the same racist thing to do as a Christmas story did. Yeah, except it was a. a, a except it's just like random with no context in the song apart from it just yeah. being connected to the fact that the girl that he likes is age. Yes. And don't forget. Bruce Lee Toyota. You're you're right. I think uh, that is the they part also... right. At some point during this song, because again, there was no plan. I can't believe how few views it has. It, it boggles my yeah. mind. When we were watching it initially, I think I threw my back out when they shouted Bruce Lee. That yeah, was that was pretty insane. What are you doing? It just, One of the, don't forget Chinatown, happy endings all over. All over. Bruce Lee Toyota. Thai stereotypes, 
a man from Hong Kong in uh, <laughs> yeah, no, a, 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 a Japanese car. car. In that one stanza that. alone, none of them are from the same place. One of the things they shout is just Tibet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tiananmen Square! <laughs> Taiwan! <laughs> don't free them! <laughs> what the hell? Let's be honest, these guys don't know the difference between Taiwan and Thailand. Yeah, they think it, uh, they're like, yeah, uh, people in Thailand, the Taiwanese. Tofu. Tofu. Oh, that might be the worst yeah. one. Tofu all over me. Ew. Okay. That shit's slimy and cold. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was, I mean, you already covered that. You already said happy endings all over. Yeah, they already shouted sashimi at some point. Yeah, don't forget it. The fascist, like, love for Japan is like, oh, well, they're an ethno state. And, yes. you know, they, they fit a bunch of other. They succeeded in it. Yeah. And it's uh, so icky and so gross. <laughs> and also if any incel went to fucking Japan, they would be berated by the racist fucking anti-immigration people who are Japanese, who yeah. hate white people coming to their country. <laughs> state. Yeah, because the like those states create fucking yeah. right-wing freaks like you. <laughs> in, in enough time, there is no true white person. So white, white is not a race. Always, yeah. By definition, by being fash, have to identify an antagonist. And so right. anytime you're investing in white supremacy, you're basically just betting on how low down on the tier list you are. Like, are we yeah. 70 years away from them coming for the Italians? In which case I am gonna do it because I'll be dead by then. Mm. Are the half Irish gonna get got? <laughs> well, no, I'll probably get got for the Kenyan part, but <laughs> outside of that. Yeah, I mean, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm Irish and Italian, so I'm- Game over. Who knows, who knows when they're coming for me? Sith and Jedi? <laughs> <laughs> get it, get it right away. In it, in it, earn my way. You won't, you won't pay my rent. Like, why the hell would I listen to you? Too many goals, too many dreams, not enough fiction. And it just saying, future is paved, minding my business. Clicking my hands, still looking my poses, feel like I'm.